They're in the gate. And they're off in the Sunday opener at Aqueduct. Like a shot, two boss went to the lead. Not the best of beginnings for We Ready. Inside, Cafre joins two boss and these two or length in front of Dazzle Time. To the inside is Repo Rocks. The trailer is We Ready to Field. Makes their way up the backstretch. And Cafre, the firster, is in front of length. Two boss. Two is outside. The gray is in second. One length and a half back to Dazzle Time. Repo Rocks, a neck behind him towards his inside. The trailer is still We Ready. 23-2 and two for the opening quarter as Cafre leads the field to the far turn. A half length in front of two boss. They have two lengths on Repo Rocks, trying to move up inside of Dazzle Time. Further back, it's We Ready. Midway on the far turn, two boss, two Cafre. These two still a length in front. Dazzle Time's under a ride. Repo Rocks. Pablo Morales just waiting to roll with him as the field makes their way past the quarter pole. The half was 46 and 4, and two boss takes the lead away from Cafre off the turn. Cafre battles back along the inside. Three lengths back to Repo Rocks, and Dazzle Time past the eighth pole. Two Boss begins to edge away from his four other rivals, and he's three in front. Dazzle Time and Repo Rocks looking to reel in Cafre for second, but they're all chasing Two Boss, who wins by five under the line today. Dazzle Time was second, Cafre third, Repo Rocks fourth. Final time for the seven furlongs was 125 flat. Number four, two boss finished first. The three dazzle time finished second. Two Cafre was third. And the one Repo Rocks was fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Adwa shows first. There's Mia Be a Star along the inside. Kazar's there. So too, she's so naughty. And now, behind the couch, rushes up between horses. Behind the couch makes it four across the track, like back to Ancient Brown. And now Adwa has taken off the pace. So. The seven of them make their way up the back stretch through an opening quarter of 23 and 2. The prohibitive favorite behind the couch made her way to the lead along with Mia Be a Star. Kazar makes three's company on the front end. They've opened up four lengths on She's So Naughty. High school crushes at the rail. Adwa's out of last. Ancient Brown trails. The half went in 47 and 3. Kazar. Behind the couch, Mia be a star at the rail. These three, a straight line as the field turns for home. Mia be a star, Kazar on the outside. These two have opened up a length on the favorite. Behind the couch, far outside, Adwa bears down. And Adwa's coming with a big run past the eighth pole. Adwa to the neck of Kazar. And right by Adwa a length. Kazar battling back as Mia be a star coming to the line. A three length win for Adwa. Dead tight for second. Maybe Mia be a star over Kazar. Behind the couch was fourth. Final time for the six and a half furlongs was 120 and one.
Number seven, Adwa was first. It's a photo for second. Number two, Mia Bia Star finished second. Six, Kazar third. Four, behind the couch, finished fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Ghost Stalker goes to the lead between horses. There's Respect for All, and Prospect Mountain has speed today. Like back to the only solution along the inside in third. Make it in New York's fourth, and the favorite is fifth, rather. Make it in New York is ahead of Jess Burbanek, the favorite, who trails early out of the chute and up the backstretch, led by Prospect Mountain, who won an opening quarter of 23-4. and four. He's a half-length, now a length in front of Respect for All. Ghost Stalker three wide in third. Burbanek's moved up now. Kendrick Carmouche has him along the rail, and he's fourth. The only solution's fifth. Trailer now make it in New York as the field makes their way to the half-mile pole, a length lead for Prospect Mountain. Respect for all right there in second. Ghost Stalker coming under a ride in third. Burbanek rides the rails in fourth through a 48-1 half-mile gap of three. Make it in New York's out of last. He's a neck in front of the only solution as the field is midway on the far turn. Prospect Mountain, respect for all, ratchets up the pressure. Ghost Stalkers under a drive. Burbanek, Kendrick Carmouche just looking for a seam as the field makes their way off the turn through three quarters in 114 and two. There it is. Up the inside comes Burbanek, but Prospect Mountain has a response. These two, respect for all, still there. Burbanek trying to come along the inside. On Prospect Mountain, who's hanging tough. Prospect Mountain, Burbanek, respect for all, not going away. Burbanek, Prospect Mountain, respect for all. Burbanek, Prospect Mountain, Burbanek, Prospect Mountain. Oh, tight on the line. I think Burbanek got his head down on the money. It was tight with Prospect Mountain. Respect for all was third. Final time for the mile was 139 and four. Photo finish. Number five, Burbanek was first. The one, Prospect Mountain, was second. The two, Respect for All, third. The number six, Making in New York, finished fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Queendom broke alertly today and goes to the lead. There's not a problem along with Lottie's mission. Now Nikki Scissors 
along the inside, hustled under Manny Franco to get to the lead. It's Nicky Scissors, a neck in front of not a problem. Lottie's Mission's there. So is Queendom, far outside Gringotts, as Mebs Webb moves up nicely behind that line of four or five. Gap of four back to Choose Happiness and Galliano, the trailer, out of the shooting onto the oval through an opening quarter of 23 and four. They're fanned out five or six across the track here. Nikki Scissors, not a problem. And Lottie's Mission, they're the top three. Mebs Webb's moved up to fourth. Queendom's there in fifth, a length and a half back to Gringotts, who's sixth. Three lengths to cl- choose happiness. And Galliano's the trailer, 47-3 and three was the half mile. The field makes their way on the far turn. Nikki Scissors, Lottie's Mission turns up the pressure. Queendom coming with a run between horses. That's not a problem. Gringotts is there. Mebs Webb along the inside. Those f- six are covered by maybe four lengths as the field makes their way to the quarter pole through three quarters and one thirteen and four. Lottie's Mission and Nikki Scissors have opened up two lengths. Mebs Webbs is coming with a run along the inside. Queendom down the center. The field's coming down to the eighth pole. Lottie's Mission, she's trying to put away Nikki Scissors. Mebs Webbs coming. Choose happiness from a long way out of it. Gringotts as well. Past the 16th pole, though. They're all chasing Lottie's Mission. Who's home free? She's in front by three, and she's geared down at the end. Nikki Scissors held second. Bunch of them hit the line for third. Final time for the mile was 140 and three. Number six, Lottie's Mission was first. The four, Nikki Scissors finished second. It's a photo for third. Number two, Mebs Webb finished third, and the one, Choose Happiness, was fourth. Returning to the winner's circles, the number six, Lottie's Mission. Lottie's Mission is a four-year-old New York-bred daughter of Mission Impassable out of the city zip mare, Lottie Zip. Lottie's Mission is owned by Sportsman Stable. She's trained by Jorge Abreu, her rider, Trevor McCarthy. And it's official.
They're in the gate. And they're off. Sky Kitten shows first. There's If I Had a Chance and Banker's Daughter from the inside. Courageous Girls there as well. Fifth along the inside is Cheatham Hill again. She's running for purse money only. Gap of four to I'm fine. Gap of about the same. Back to impress the professor who trails the field. Sky Kitten on a two and a half length lead down the back stretch with If I Had a Chance and Banker's Daughter there. 23 and two for the opening quarter. Length back. Courageous Girls fifth. Five lengths back to I'm fine. Impress the professor continues to trail the field. As they make their way to the far turn, Sky Kitten, two lengths in front of If I Had a Chance. Cheatham Hills there along the inside. Courageous Girl moves up. The favorite banker's daughter, nothing from her as of yet. Dylan Davis trying to get some run out of her. She's four lengths from the lead through a 47 and three half mile. They've caught Sky Kitten. If I Had a Chance comes calling first. There's Courageous Girl being pulled up at the back is Banker's Daughter. The favorite's been pulled up off the turn and into the stretch. If I had a chance, braces for Courageous Girl from the back of the pack. I'm fine. It's flying down the center of the track. Courageous Girl, a short lead from If I Had a Chance. I'm fine. Bears down past the 16th pole. I'm fine trying to get Courageous Girl, trying to hold Courageous Girl. I'm fine. Here's the line. It's dead tight. Was it Courageous Girl that I'm fine get her? Those two in a photo, seven furlongs in 126 and two. Photo finish. Again, we had a late scratch here in race number five. The one Amos was a late scratch. It resulted in the 1A Cheatham Hill running for purse money only. Number four, Courageous Girl finished first. Six, I'm fine, was second. Three, if I had a chance, was third. Five, Impress the Professor, finished fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Kentucky Knight shows first. There's black and tan. American Gentleman's outside the gray. Euro Silver Biz along the inside at the rail up 74 and jailbreakers between. American Gentleman and Euro Silver Biz a length in front of up 74. We come back to black and tan. Magnificent Chrome's on the outside. Moves up into fourth. Jailbreaker. Chambo along the rail. Centavo moves up. The trailer 
Now Kentucky Knight, 22-3. and three. They ripped through an opening quarter. Euro Silver Biz at the rail. American Gentleman, the favorite on the outside. Magnificent Chrome has moved up into third. Up 74 is fourth. A gap of three lengths back to Centavo. And Jailbreaker midway on the turn past the quarter pole. American Gentleman rests the lead away from Euro Silver Biz through a 46-3 and three half mile. Magnificent Chrome in with a huge upset chance down the center of the track. Up 74. Swift outside for running room. American Gentleman's almost home. Magnificent Chrome bears down on him. These two have four on up 74. American Gentleman trying to hold off. Magnificent Chrome will put his head in front. Magnificent Chrome has put away American Gentleman and upsets the sixth. It was Magnificent Chrome a half length over American Gentleman. Final time for the six furlongs was 113 flat. Number eight, Magnificent Chrome was first. 1A American Gentleman second. Two, up 74 was third and the four Centavo finished fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Morgantown shows first. There's Fleet Warrior between horses. Munaki outside to Buston Timberlake. Him She Kisses is at the rail. Leap to Glory has just one horse beat. And that's Double Shot who's about a dozen lengths from the lead of Morgantown, who's two lengths in front of Fleet Warrior as the field makes their way past the half-mile pole through an opening quarter and a quick 22-2. and two. Morgantown flaunting his speed today. Three lengths to the good of Fleet Warrior. Buston Timberlake moves up in third. Munaki is fourth. Him, she kisses fifth. We come back to Leap to Glory. A long way back to double shot as the field makes their way to the quarter pole. Morgantown trying to take them start to finish here. Fleet Warrior under a drive, so's Buston Timberlake. Munaki looking for a seam. Him, she kisses at the rail. They turn for home. Buston Timberlake trying to gun down both Fleet Warrior and Morgantown. Morgantown still there. Buston Timberlake far back. Double shot down the center. Buston Timberlake got to deal with double shot. Double shot flying at Buston Timberlake who drifts in and double shot nails Buston Timberlake in the final strides to win the seventh. Final time for the six furlongs was one eleven and three.
Number three, double shot, finished first. The seven, Boston Timberlake was second. Six, Fleet Warrior third. Four, Munaki fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off in the ladies. Miss Marissa hustled to the lead by Jose Lascano, and she'll take the lead into the first turn in front of Ujai and Thankful, who's three wide. Smooth with a kick is along the rail in fourth. We come back to the gray. Am Impossible, who's fifth. The trailer is lucky move. The field makes their way on the clubhouse turn. Miss Marissa's a length in front of thankful Ujai along the inside length and a half back in third there's smooth with a kick in fourth two and a half back to am impossible lucky move trails the opening quarter a slow 25 seconds flat miss marissa leads them on a comfortable length and a half lead thankful second Ujai is third. Smooth with a kick. Two and a half lengths from the leader in fourth. Gap of a length and a half to Am Impossible. Lucky move trails. Seven lengths from the lead. 49 and four for the half. Jose Lascano just took a peek back on Miss Marissa. He sees that Thankful's a length away. Ujai, two lengths back in third. Smooth with a kick under a ride in fourth. Am Impossible and Lucky move trail. Not much has changed as the field makes their way. Midway on the far turn, Miss Marissa, thankful, ratchets up the pressure in second, smooth with a kick, past Ujai into third, lucky move, and I'm impossible, a half a dozen lengths from the lead, three quarters and one fourteen and four, Miss Marissa braces for thankful's challenge, these two have a length and a half on Ujai, who swings outside, far outside, lucky moves out of last, they're passing the eighth pole, Miss Marissa and thankful are trying to hold off the late rally of Ujai, lucky move down the center, thank Thankful took the lead away from Miss Marissa. Here comes Ujai. Thankful, Miss Marissa. Ujai, thankful wins the ladies by three parts of a length. She beat Miss Marissa, Ujai, and Lucky Move. Final time for the nine furlongs was 153 and 2. Number seven, Thankful finished first. Four, Miss Marissa was second. Six, Ujai was third. And the one, lucky move, finished fourth. And they're off. Manny Petty comes out running, as does Foley Square between horses. Hey, Z. We come back to Homedale Park, who's fourth. Shannon's Girl switches outside in fifth. Happy Crest, sixth. Trapped in my mind, seventh. The trailer is first dawn. They come out of the chute and onto the oval, led by Hey, Z over Foley Square. These two have a length and a half on Homedale Park. And Manny Petty there, third and fourth. Happy Crest along the inside is fifth. Shannon's Girl, sixth. First Dawn's out of last.
trapped in my mind trails the opening quarter went in 24 and 1. Hey is E over Foley Square by three parts of a length. Happy Crest has moved into third. Manny Petty's fourth. Homedale Park under a bit of a ride in fifth. First Dawn sixth. Shannon's girl and trapped in my mind. A half in 48 and 2 set by Hey Z, who gets a little breathing room. A length and a half in front of Foley Square. Kendra Carmouche looking for number four. Ratchets up the pressure again in second. Manny Petty's off the inside. Four wide home they park. They got two lengths on Happy Crest as the field makes their way on the far turn. Hey Z, Foley Square right to her throat latch through three quarters in 113 and four. These two have a two length lead on home they park, who's widest of all in third. They're Past the 316th pole, Foley Square just got by Hey Is E. Here comes Homedale Park. Manny Petty looking for room between horses. It's down to Foley Square. Homedale Park down the center. Manny Petty between. Foley Square's almost home. Homedale Park. Foley Square. Homedale Park. Kendra gets four. Foley Square holds three parts of a length. Homedale Park finished second. Manny Petty third. Final time for the mile was 140 and one. Number eight, Homedale, number eight, Foley Square was first. Number six, Homedale Park was second. The four, Manny Petty was third. It's a photo for fourth. Number one, First Dawn, finished fourth. Returning to the winner's circle is the number eight, Foley Square. Foley Square is a four-year-old daughter of Langfear, out of the Cat Thief Mare, exclusive woman. Foley Square is owned by Barry Ostriger, trained by Orlando Noda. Four on the day for her rider, Kendrick Carmouche.
And it's official. Dollar exact to eight six return fourteen dollars forty cents. Dollar double seven eight fourteen dollars ninety cents. Fifty cent trifecta eight six four fifty nine dollars eighty seven cents. Ten cent superfecta eight six four one fifty five dollars twenty five cents. The one dollar pick three three seven eight seventy seven dollars fifty cents. Fifty cent late pick four two thousand seven hundred ninety two dollars seventy five cents. The 50 cent late pick five, $16,310. Just waiting on the Empire Six, folks. $16,310. 